Crime that investigators spent decades trying to solve. A dangerous sexual predator admitted today to kidnapping and murdering nine-year-old Angie Hausman. This was the day Angie Hausman's family had waited more than 27 years for. Her killer brought to justice. 63-year-old Earl Cox admitted to kidnapping and murdering Hausman and gave details on how he did it. I sat down with St. Charles County Prosecuting Attorney Tim Lomar after the hearing as he revealed how this horrific crime unfolded. It's the theme of a horror movie, and this little girl had to live it out. Earl Cox had family who lived near Angie in St. Anne. On November 19, 1993, Earl Cox had car trouble and just happened to pull over as Angie got off her school bus. He didn't know her. Angie was walking down the sidewalk uh, towards her home and uh, Cox engaged her in conversation and then coaxed her into the vehicle. Cox took her to his mobile home in Wentzville where he kept her in a back bedroom. Cox sexually tortured this little girl for at least seven days. His live-in girlfriend never knew Angie was there. You know, how in the world could somebody keep a child alive in a home, such a small home, without another uh, roommate uh, becoming aware of it, but that apparently is, is, is a fact. And you believe her when she said that she didn't know about it? We do. Investigators believe Cox acted alone. Cox took her to Bush Wildlife Area in St. Charles County, where he tied her nude body to a tree, duct taped her mouth and eyes, and left her to die in the cold. Hunters found her snow-covered body nine days after she disappeared. Cox was never a suspect until last June when a DNA match tied him to Houseman. To avoid the death penalty, he agreed to a plea bargain of life in prison without parole. Justice in this case, in my view, was being able to give the community the story about what happened in the words of the man who did. Cox never apologized in court or showed any remorse as family members sobbed and called him a monster. We're talking a week of torture, sexual abuse, um, you name it, and ultimately murder. Normal people can't do that. That's a monster.